Hey guys, it's Matt Pittman with Meat Church and welcome back to our summer grilling series. Today, it's all about a Texas classic grilled red snapper. Stick around. We pulled the Meek Church congregation and asked you guys what sort of videos you'd want to see, and a ton of you said seafood. I mean, I'd love to drop a brisket video every week. I mean, we are called Meat Church, but often get asked, how are you so skinny if you eat all that amazing food? Well, cardiologists might want you to mix in a little bit of fish every now and then, so I'm going to show you a really easy one. Um, we've sourced this red snapper. Our, our buddies at Can Seafood and Waxhatchee brought it in fresh for us, brand new restaurant. Uh, in place you can get fresh seafood, so check them out. Uh, what we're gonna do here is gonna be real simple. We're gonna apply a little bit of olive oil and then we're just gonna season it. We're gonna grill it to temp. I'm gonna start on the back side because we're actually going to um, grill this on both sides. So just a little bit of oil. So this is gonna be on the half shell. And when you grill on the half shell, um, that skin will actually uh, make grilling fish easier. A lot of people seem to be intimidated by fish because their their fish sticks to their grill, whether you're you know cooking on a direct fire grill or in something more indirect, um, the same issues still seem to come up. I'll flip them over and I'll put just a little bit on the top. You don't need much. And what better setting to be out here on the boat dock at Cedar Creek Lake making some seafood videos. Today I'm going to season this with our Holy Voodoo. It's our number one seasoning and it's great on a lot of things. I love it on seafood. Feel free to use whatever seasoning uh, that you like. Some people just want to use a little salt and pepper. I'm going to go real light with this. I don't think it needs much. I really want the fish to kind of speak for itself. Um, if you haven't had this voodoo, it's kind of an all-purpose with just a slight jalapeno kick. It's Cajun-inspired, um, so but it's not it's not what I'd consider hot or anything like that. Okay, and this stuff adheres pretty quick, so you don't have to leave the seasoning on long. Like I, you might leave it on here three or four minutes, but we're going to go ahead and put it directly on the grill. Um, depending on what you're cooking on, I love to cook this at 375 and, you know, again, depending on the size of your filet, it's probably about an eight minute cook at 375, but we're cooking today on our mill scale open fire grill. So this is just a direct fire. Um, and I, with my hand, I can feel that it's, it's hot. It's probably 375, 400 or so. We're going to go on meat side down to start. Uh, I'm going to do this for about three minutes because I want to get flavor and color on that flesh side and then we'll flip it and use the skin to protect the fish during the cook for the kind of longer part, closer to five minute side of the cook. Well, while that's going, I've got some lemons that I've cut up here and I wanna grill those off because I like to add a little, a little lemon juice uh, to my fish. And I'm gonna dredge those here in a little bit of uh, holy voodoo. That'll help give us some really nice caramelization. And hey, little pro tip, this isn't bad if you're gonna make some smoked uh, lemonade with a little, little vodka in it. Well, we've been cooking these for about three minutes. Let's get underneath these and flip these over. And like I said, we'll probably go about closer to five minutes uh, on the skin side. So I like to take my red snapper to 137. Uh, I'm, it means I'm gonna grill it to about 132 or so. And when you pull it off the residual heat, we'll do a little carryover cook and get us closer to 137 so it's nice and juicy. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right guys, we're at seven minutes and 45 seconds right here in this thick part. Ooh, 134, 135, that one's gotta come off. Man, that looks pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get these other two off. We're gonna let this cool and I'm gonna come back and we're gonna eat it. Here we go. All right, this, uh, this red snapper's rested. It looks really good. I'm gonna take some of this grilled lemon. I like to put a little, 
a little lemon uh, on my fish personally. So up to you on that. And let's get a little taste test here. Ooh, that looks juicy. I ain't mad at that. My mom will be so proud that I'm having fish instead of big red meat for once. That is really light, crazy fresh. Um, like I said earlier, the Voodoo is a great all-purpose, so I went with a light seasoning. So just getting like that great fish accented with that and just that hint of jalapeno, citrus on top, it's a winner. Good uh, summer evening uh, dinner for you and the family. Uh, be sure to check out all of our summer grilling videos. We've got a lot in this series. If you guys like what we're doing, please like and subscribe to our channel. My team is working really hard to bring you guys weekly cooking videos every Wednesday. So we'll see you guys next week.